Hey everybody, it's Harry from Chef Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I have with me here a beautiful piece of uh, Chilean sea bass courtesy of my friends from Australia. Jason Linto from Perth was here for a barbecue contest in Norco, California and uh, he brought with him some wonderful Chilean sea bass all the way from uh, Tasmania. This sea bass is sold by a company called Glacier 51 and they ship that I believe to New York and then they send, sell it to all the restaurants around America. I was able to get a beautiful piece here which I'm going to show you guys how to prepare some Chilean sea bass. This is a really special sea bass because it's caught off the waters of Australia between the Antarctica and Australia. So this is really pristine waters with basically uh, the wind and the water from the Antarctica so it's completely not polluted. This is sustainably farmed and caught and uh, it's really great eating. We'll show you a couple of recipes that I like to do for my Chilean sea bass so please come along for my Chilean sea bass episode. We're gonna, first thing is uh, remove the skin from the Chilean sea bass. The easiest way to do that is use a fillet knife. Run your knife in like so. Pick up one edge of the uh, Chilean sea bass. Cut into three pieces. All right, we're ready for prep. We're gonna do uh, my favorite three recipes with Chilean sea bass. The first one is we're gonna do it with some mayonnaise, some breadcrumbs, garlic, and some fresh thyme. The second one is just a simple recipe using my chicken rub, which is really good on seafood. And the third one, we're gonna do a little bit of a riff using one of my favorite snacks, which is the uh, chili lime hot flaming limon Cheetos. We're gonna crush them up and use it as a crust. We're also gonna brush on some of my step by daddy barbecue sauce and mix a little bit of Parmesan cheese into the Cheeto. So we've got three wonderful recipes we're gonna show you. So I'm gonna do the prep next. After we uh, put some thyme, fresh thyme, with the, maybe well, one tablespoon of garlic, I'm going to put in about well, two tablespoons of mayo and eyeball it. Okay, and I'm going to add about maybe about a tablespoon of breadcrumbs. Any, any particular kind you can, as you use panko. And this will be the coating on the sea bass. My first piece is going to be just my chicken rub, which is really, really good on seafood. I'm going to apply a nice even coat. Add a little bit of oil just to create a tacky surface. For my hot Cheetos one, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Just going to brush my uh, Barbecue sauce first. Put the barbecue sauce on it. Add a little bit of salt. On all four sides. And I'm going to dip it into this, my crust.
The last one we can do is uh, the uh, thyme. We have a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs and mayo. Just get a nice coating of oil on it. Just a little bit of salt. I'm going to put my slurry on it. The back side. to cook the uh, Julian sea bass. Press the on switch here. Hey beans, you ready to try the Chilean sea bass? We have three flavors, right? One is with thyme, one is with Slabedetti chicken seasoning, and the other one is hot Cheetos. Which one do you want to try first? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try this, uh, and I'm going to eat it uh, on camera with my daughter. Amy, she's behind the camera. So I'm going to try the first one. I'm going to try my Slap Your Daddy uh, chicken seasoning. Nice crust here. Beautiful, flaky. Look at how, look at how beautiful, look at how moist this thing is. Look at that. Really, really good Chilean sea bass. Flaky, crunchy, just a tremendous amount of flavor. Fish is really fresh and uh, extremely flaky. I'm gonna move over to the second one, which is the uh, one with the thyme, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of garlic. It's kind of like a, a little mayonnaise crust here. Also very flaky, beautiful crust here. So this is a beautiful, just a wonderful explosion of the herb, of the thyme. A little bit of garlic and the mayo just makes it kind of blends all the flavors together. The fish is absolutely superb. This is really a great supporting player to let the fish stand out as the primary star right here. I'm gonna have a second bite, so good. See how flaky and moist is this? This is a really uh, wonderful tasting, very fatty fish, superb. To the third one, this is the hot Cheetos with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And the reason his camera is shaking is because um, Beans is jumping on Amy. That wonderful crunch of the Cheetos Combined with the soft, oily flakiness of the fish, it's actually fantastic. We've never tried a combination of Parmesan cheese and hot Cheetos with Chilean sea bass. You definitely need to try this recipe. So now that I've had my share, um, Beans, you want some? All right, first up, Beans, <laughs> okay. we have the right, beans. mayonnaise and thyme one. Stay, stay, here we go. Good, you like it? Okay, good. All right, we'll try this one first. Very good. Very tender. Okay. Mm-hmm, I like that one. Mmm. Oh. Very good. So far, I like that one the best. Yeah, that's the second daddy one, right? Yeah, because the crust is like nice crunch with the buttery texture of the fish. Mmm. Like hot Cheetos. I'm a, I love hot Cheetos. I'm excited to try this. So which one's your favorite? It's pretty good. Oh, wow. You like the herb thai, thyme, the semi mm. chicken wrap, or the hot cheetos? Okay. These are close, but I just like the... This one is the most tender and juiciest. Mm. This one's good because of crunch. Yeah. This one's good, like got the nice herby, like more creamy yeah. flavor. So you rate one, two, three, right? Yeah. Okay. My so my, my score is, a, is a, actually kind of a tie. I think these two are a tie for me. And this is second place. So there you go. Nice. All right. So good, good stuff. So beans, you enjoy some too. You get some. You like it? Huh? All right. So I'm here with my daughter Amy, oh. and uh, we really enjoyed trying the Chilean sea bass. So thanks to the folks at Glacier Fifty One from Australia for sending us the uh, 
Chilean sea bass. It was absolutely fantastic. We had a good time cooking it. So hopefully you saw these three recipes. Not too hard to execute at home. You can probably do this pretty easily. And if you want to try it out, I think that uh, all three are winners. So depending on your mood that day, um, you know, the one with the Stepadetti chicken rub actually is a really, really good combination. So again, please like, subscribe and share. And thanks you guys for coming along and we'll see you guys in the next video. So uh, Beans did not try the Chilean sea basket. This is uh, the sleeper hit. So in terms of a bonus reel, I can put this at the end because um, we tried the fish. The fish was absolutely crazy good. But you know that that skin is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like super chicharrones on steroids, man. It's a really, really good skin. I had some already. I'm going to give Mr. Bean some. Okay, Mr. Bean, sit down. Sit. Sit. Stay. All right, here we go. There you have your chicharrones. Hey, buddy. There you go. It's good. Huh? Chilean sea bass chicharrones. That's really good stuff, man.